Okay. What have we got here now? There he's in, see? Okay, give me a break and out she goes. So now he'll have to get on the nest. We'll see how he does. He was by earlier and flew off. He didn't bring her any uh, food, so. Unless they have a stash, but I doubt that. Okay. He usually doesn't come back unless he's got food, so. He could have a stash. We'll see how long she's gone here. He's getting hunkered down on the nest here. I'm just betting he's giving her a morning break here. When she comes back, we'll look at her crop and see how full it is. He's a good hunter. It doesn't take him long to catch stuff, I'll tell you. But as a rule, when he has food, he flies back to the tree and gives her the call, and she flies out, and then a little bit later, he flies in. So this could be just a break. And there he is, all settled down on there. Everybody's had their little morning ritual now. We get to observe our Tiersel here. He just landed. She's laying down there and got up slowly and took off. And like I say, it could be he has some food stashed over there for her or she's just taking a break. But anyway, he's going to do his turn on the eggs now. It's 725 in the morning and it's about 48 degrees. This is day seven of the incubation. So it's a seven and a half hours into the seventh day of the incubation. So there you go. We start right at midnight because we were observing when they were first warming the eggs up to the incubating temperature. That was the day they laid their last egg. And we figured they didn't get them up to about uh, almost 100 degrees by about midnight. So. That's when they start germinating and start the incubation, so. That's good for us, because we figure midnight's fairly close. It started the next day, and it all works out good. Well, there's our Tiersel, all snuggled down in there and doing his thing. We'll wait for her to come back and see how long it takes. We'll uh, observe the situation here. And there she is, see, she's back with a little uh, <laughs> piece of bark. <laughs> so, this was a, he was giving her a potty break. That's what it was. I don't think he was aware that she'd gone out earlier when we first got here. That she'd been out for a little tiny bit. Nest was empty and then we uh, knew something would be coming in and she sailed back in. So Then later he came in and checked on her and, now here we are, we had another uh, little shift change here. Well, that's working out good for us. Getting a lot of good action here at 7.27 in the morning. Sound like a Boeing aircraft. <laughs> Boeing time, 7.27. All right, there was a radio station that used to do that whenever it was... Uh, the right time, it sounded like a Boeing airplane. They would announce that time rather than wait for a minute or so off, which was good. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Well, there's her tail up, all set, and uh, she'll be waiting for breakfast or brunch, one or the other. We'll call that good and observe what else happens.